Hey everyone, Eric here from Laughix, and I want to start off just by saying uh, I do apologize for our last upload. Um, if you're a follower of the channel, or if you're the notification squad, or if you subscribe and see all of our videos, you might have actually caught um, our last video that actually come up about a Windows 11 S mode, and before you actually buy a laptop, and what to really know about looking forward to this S mode, and what really what it is. I did a great job at least explaining what it is, and and how uh, it does affect a consumer, but I didn't show you guys the right way and I gave some misinformation about how to get out of this Windows 11 S mode. I'm gonna go ahead and at least run this clip about the Windows 11 S mode, a little bit more details on it when you buy a laptop, and then I'll go ahead and explain a little bit after that. So just say you got this brand new laptop, right? We actually have a customer that has a brand new laptop. They just wanna help us set it up for them. You know, there's a Microsoft bypass because uh, they don't want to have a login. There's lots of things you want to make sure all the drivers are up to date. Just make sure everything's configured correctly. Emails, uh, Hotmails, Outlooks, those type of things. I got this nice HP that you can see here. It has uh, Intel Core i5, uh, 11th gen, and it has Iric, Iris uh, graphics on it. So it's a very nice, nice machine. I think it has 8 gigs of RAM. So it has basic Windows specs that you would think, right, for a full version of actually Windows to actually run and everything so now we go into it and we're going to actually go ahead and install this is what the ui actually looks like it's very looks like windows 11 right nothing special there uh, but we actually go into this edge and just say hey we want to download chrome and we notice we got something like this come on so it says to finish installing chrome you need to switch out s mode and we're like s mode what's that we just bought windows 11 right so what's going on with that so so we want to go ahead and see what it says here he says it says windows 11 home in s mode so for s mode you're like oh man what is s mode what's that didn't i buy windows now what is s mode and windows and what exactly is that well it's not necessarily a bad thing it's usually it can be a good thing in certain ways especially if you have uh, kids at home or if you have people who aren't super tech savvy they want to have a more secure environment if you actually check to see what it says here okay and it says right here what s mode actually is it says allows verified microsoft store apps for security speed and simplicity to install apps that aren't verified by Microsoft Store and to get Windows upgrades, go to the store, exit S mode, and this change is actually permanent. So if you're going to anything, if we're going to download Chrome, for instance, that's not a typically a Microsoft verified app. It's not through the store, and it's not going to allow you to install it. If you want to install any other types of programs that aren't part of the Microsoft Store, um, it's not going to install them as well. So it's pretty much locked down to like where the apps are, where the store is. So you can go to Microsoft Store and download anything from there. It's going to actually work totally fine. And Office will work totally fine too. Um, there's lots of apps you can still install. There's like, there is Spotify, there's WhatsApp. You can go ahead and check the Windows Store. I don't know why it's loading now for no reason. Oh, I clicked Spotify. Okay. But you can go lots of different ones. There's Netflix, iTunes, here's iCloud, uh, TikTok if you want to do that too. Uh, there's lots of apps actually installed on the Windows Store and this will actually be fine. It's more of a secure environment. It's very similar kind of to what Apple does in their own way. It's similar to what Apple does, um, but Apple, what Apple actually will do is they want you to install everything through the App Store and any type of verified apps that, that they do notice are, are totally fine through like the web browser. Uh, sometimes if it's something outside of it, if you're doing some open, open source things or stuff that's not verified, it'll just say you have to go to security settings and change it in the security settings to allow stuff to be downloaded outside of the actual app store itself or outside of the verified apps because you would have to confirm that. Okay, so you guys know what a Windows 11 S mode is. And um, now you just want to say, okay, I can leave it in that mode or I want to get out of it. Now to switch on it to upgrade for it, there isn't... Um, something that you really have to do that's for that extensive you don't have to pay or anything and that's kind of what I was leading towards that you have to pay to upgrade to get out of it now that was misinformation I really do apologize I should have definitely done a little bit more homework then uh, for it I did look it up actually I'm going to show you guys here what exactly it says I'm going to go to one of the Microsoft forms for it I'm going to show you guys right now so now switching out of S mode if you want to get out of S mode uh, there's a way you can do it you can have Windows 10 or you can do Windows 11 um, and now this usually comes in Windows 11 for um, the home edition. And the one I showed even in the video too, the one I actually showed in the clip that you just watched, it does have Windows 11 home uh, with S mode. So you can go actually to, um, to get out of it if you want to install other apps for it. You can actually get out of it if you want. Um, this one is actually more of a one way out. So once you get out, you can't go back into it for some strange reason, but hey, I'm not really here. I'm just uh, the messenger here. So well, you can go to your Windows 11 settings here. There's a system. You can go into your activation. What it, the whole point of it is it's going to show you there's a link to go to the store and then this the link of the store will actually be able to switch you out of s mode 
and there's no paywall there's no upgrades there's no anything yet to really worry about there for it if you're stuck into this uh, situation but again guys i really do apologize i'll make sure i always keep everything up to date you guys have been so good on the subscriptions and the support i really, really do appreciate that and again i'm really sorry about um, the people who did watch the video about it and I gave the misinformation, you know, I know you guys rely on us for trusted source, especially that we're a tech shop and stuff. So I always want to make sure you guys have valuable information. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please leave a like. It really does help us a lot. Subscribe for more content. We do lots of talks like this, software talks, software repairs. Try to keep you guys in the news about anything that's really updated and stuff that you should be aware of. This is still a really good thing you guys should be aware of anyway, because especially if you buy a laptop, you're thinking it's going to work out of the box. Some things might be a little bit, eh. We understand you guys spend a lot of money once something work like that right so and we like to help always with software repairs hardware repairs do lots of liquid spills data recoveries on on this channel go ahead check that out um and uh see you guys in the next video thanks a lot for watching again guys i'm really sorry sorry forgive me thanks a lot for watching take care bye